Hi, I'm Art Fireman, and today's video focuses, no pun intended, on Epson's flagship interactive projector, the Breitling Pro 1430WI. It was reviewed by Ron, who previously reviewed the Breitling 595WI, a similar model, but one geared for the education market. The Pro, however, is significantly more endowed, not so much in hardware, but in overall capabilities. For some perspective, Epson is the world's largest projector manufacturer. Here in the US, they are responsible for about 30% of the entire market, marketing almost every type of projector except those uh, really small Pico ones. The Breitling Pro is a 3300 lumen ultra short throw projector with an MSRP of $29.99, but there are a variety of options such as whiteboard projection screens, basic wall mounts, or even more sophisticated cosmetics and or functionality suitable for an executive boardroom, which we'll show you some of that later. The thing is, the Epson has uh, really taken the Breitling Pro 1430 to a new level of solution rather than it just being an interactive projector. It is designed to be the primary comm center for your room, be it a board, training, design uh, types of room. We're talking serious productivity with some pretty good ease of use as well. We're talking about projecting, presenting, collaborating, sharing, and communicating. Sounds impressive. Well, let's get started. 1430WI can act as a basic whiteboard. You can use pens or even touch to draw, annotate, etc. As a whiteboard system, it also lets you save, print, and share. Still, you can also do a whole lot more either in whiteboard mode or as a more traditional interactive projector hooked up to computers, tablets, phones, and other BYO devices. That's bring your own devices. It is a sophisticated in terms of both wired and wireless networking. It shares, it prints, it emails, it saves. It can be the heart of your video conferencing. You can present on it or draw on it in one office and have your work appear in other conference rooms on or off site, and they can collaborate right back at you. In other words, the Breitling Pro 1430 could be considered an excellent projector to bring into your room to do basic presentations, but the Breitling Pro is more. It would seem to be the core solution to build your whole corporate intercommunications around when advanced capabilities like video conferencing, GoToMeeting, WebEx, or just basic sharing is desirable. And because virtually anything that happens in conjunction with the 1430 can be saved or shared, it becomes the all-purpose productivity tool. Now I've prepared a clip here in which I'll run through some of the basic features, but also some of the collaboration and BYOD, as well as other productivity capabilities. Check it out. Let's start off with something basic. We're in whiteboard mode right now. I'll take advantage of the 1430's touch abilities, which can track up to six separate fingers to put up some text. How about a hypothetical Apple car? Now it just so happens I have a car image. No idea what car, but I'll upload it to appear on the whiteboard. Note that I've uploaded from a folder on the USB thumb drive which was already inserted into the 1430's control box mounted to the right of the whiteboard. Next I'm changing the color to do a little bit more writing. Of course I can use different thickness lines if desired or call upon more advanced drawing tools and shapes. Notice down here at the bottom of the page that I'm on page one. In whiteboard mode you can create many pages so after I finished writing I just touch the plus sign at the bottom to launch a second whiteboard page. It's that easy. So let's label it page two. Now, if we want to save it, all I have to do is hit the save icon. Sorry, I'm blocking it. And then the window pops up. I can give it a unique name, but for time's sake, I'll just use the provided default file name, which is today's date, February 19th, and hit save. That easy, both pages have just been saved. I'll put up a few more words right now, highlighting some of the capabilities. Once I finish writing, the next thing I'll do is email these pages. Printing them would have been just as easy, also from the toolbar at the bottom. Now what I'm writing here can appear on up to 15 other 1430s and 1420s around the country, or around the world, as long as they're on the same virtual network. Now when that is done, I'll be time to demonstrate collaboration. But first, here's the email menu and send. Now let's collaborate. So next I'll touch the share icon at the bottom. Voila, a sharing menu appears. Okay, note that it says share a whiteboard or the other option is connect to a shared whiteboard. Now I need a pin, so I'll put in one for simplicity. Now other Breitling pros may input a pin of number one and communicate with this whiteboard. When I draw here, it will appear on theirs. 
Next up is controlling the whiteboard from a, well, call it bring your own device. I mentioned up to 16, 14, 30s, or 14, 20s, but in reality, it's 16 total devices. If we've got three phones, a tablet, and two laptops, there's only room for 10 projectors. Got it? So I'm drawing a circle, and now I'm drawing a green arrow. And uh, I also can just use the tools, and for example, in this case, I'll draw a straight line. There you go. Enough drawing. Here's a close-up of the smartphone. You can see exactly the same thing on the phone as on the Breitling Pro's white screen. Okay, let's feed the Epson a traditional computer source as one with any projector. I pull up the source select and tap computer with my finger. In a couple of seconds, a pre-created PowerPoint presentation appears. Or I can go into uh, use uh, my fingers to change slides or go into slideshow mode. Of course, if we want to control the screen from our laptop, we'll need also to connect by USB for traditional remote mousing capabilities. Now let's try some video conferencing. After all, that's about as collaborative as we can get these days. I'll select the video conferencing camera plugged in on HDMI 1 from source right there. And bingo, we have a large screen which would show the folks at the other end of a video conference. And although partially blocked, you can see the insert image showing our room in the lower right. I'll touch my split screen icon below. Now the video conferencing is on the left of the projected image and a smaller computer image is on the right. Because we are now in split screen, when I touch the source icon, I get two columns. So I can choose which source is on the left and which is on the right. I can hit the one, two uh, icon and they are now reversed. There certainly is a lot of capabilities, but as you can see, everything is pretty well organized and pretty easy to learn or figure out. Now I'm trying to bring back our whiteboard. That is, if I can figure out where whiteboard choice is on the source select. Okay, there it is at the top. I'll tap that instead of the computer. And now we have the whiteboard in the larger left side image, video conferencing on the right. By the way, split images can be the same size or the larger one can be on whichever side you prefer. Okay, that gives you a taste of some of the collaborative uh, and sharing abilities of the 1430. It's pretty impressive. Thanks. Understand, there's a lot more we don't even have time to touch on, but you should now have a good idea that there's a lot of capability an organization can take advantage of.